Hey everybody, it's Ty Rollin, and I'm not quite sure which episode this is, but it's been a couple of days since I played. Uh, my bad on not uploading a video today, because I was way too damn tired to do recording last night, or else I would have. Okay, so, let's start this off right, shall we? Let's kill this bar guest. How has everybody been since the last time I've talked to you individually, each and every one of you? <sighs> I just did a shite ton of work. <laughs> Had a fun uh, day working. Uh, it was much better than yesterday, mind you. And I will tell you why. I... <laughs> Let's, okay, so a couple nights ago... My toilet decided that it was going to be the end of the world for the toilet, which was unfortunate. Uh, meaning, I was about ready to go to bed, and the damn thing started to... Uh... So I went to the bathroom, like any normal person would, and uh, getting ready to go to bed. And I hear this noise from my bedroom, and I can't figure it out, so I leave and I'm looking around. And I notice that the toilet is spilling gallons and gallons of water onto the floor. And that's not cool. So, I look at it right away. It's coming from the back tank, which, of course, you know, is okay. You know, it's at least clean water. It's not coming out of the... You know, it's not like I plugged the toilet or something stupid. But, uh... It, it was still... Ga gallons of water. I'm on the second floor of an apartment. So, that's bad. That's bad sauce right there. Ooh, confused you too. Cool. Um. Eh, they're probably going to counterattack now. Oh, no, they didn't. Whatever. I don't care. Shoot whatever you want. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to the game. I'm just attacking what I want to attack. And, uh. So water's spilling everywhere. So, you know, your instinct is, okay, let's shut off the valve, right? Because that's what it's there for when the toilet is over flooding. 10,000 hertz sleep. I guess I never noticed the actual name. And it missed anyway. Mm. So I go to the valve. And I expect a little twisty valve. Or at least a lever or something. And I know I could be hitting this guy with lightning. But I've already hit him enough times as is. He should be dead soon enough. Anyway, there we go. Um... No, there's no lever. There's no twisty thing. There's a plastic little cap thing, and I have no idea. So, like, I'm trying to twist it. Uh, my girlfriend tries to twist it. Does absolutely nothing. So, we call emergency maintenance to figure out how the F to turn off the damn... <laughs> valve! So, we call them. Of course, the person has to call the overnight maintenance person. They get a hold of me about five minutes later. Was, during this time, we're trying to figure out this valve and there's water just pouring everywhere we're putting all the rugs in the bathroom floor uh near the door so it doesn't get everywhere and uh and we finally get a call back from the maintenance people <laughs> and they're like well okay how do i turn this off and they're like oh you, you pull on it i'm like you pull on it Okay, I'll trust you, dude. I pull on it, and the thing's, like, loose from the wall, so I have to brace the thing with my foot and pull it. I mean, you had to pull that damn thing hard just to get it to shut off. But it did shut off, and we're finally done with this elevator. And, uh, yeah, so we got gallons of water on the floor. And they asked me if I want an extract extractor to come through. And I'm like, yes, there's gallons of water on the floor. And I don't want to be, you know, responsible for the rug or the uh, carpet getting bad. And I don't want to be responsible for the water now pouring from my second floor apartment, most likely through the cracks of the floor, to the first floor apartment, who this poor bat... This is 3, 4 in the morning, okay? So, it, it was not fun. And so they get here about 30, 20 to 30 minutes later, and... They come in with an extractor. Lever one is complete. There's no door there. Okay, I just want to make sure. And, uh... You can push this button, but it won't do anything right now. And they get it all... I mean, kudos to my apartment ma uh, maintenance. They, they come in. They clean the whole thing. They get it completely... 
cleaned up, which is great. They get it... I don't know uh, uh, if the toilet is completely fixed right now or not, but it works. Whatever, you know, it's working. But um, what had happened was the lifter on the toilet... Now, folks, you may have to look up on how a modern toilet works if you want to actually know what I'm talking about. Because I'm not... Ooh, yes! We learned Luminaire! Oh, man, we're powerful. Um, so the little floaty device, the floater, the lifter, had rusted completely off of the little lever that it's used to um, to shut off the water. And if I was smart when I was panicking the entire damn time... Sorry, I needed a drink of water. I would have just lifted the lifter so it wouldn't pour water constantly everywhere. Oh, that was so stupid of me. But again, you know, here I am. First time a toilet's ever done something this stupid to me. Uh, anyway, long story short, they got it all fixed up. The problem was that, and I'm, I'm stopping here because the next part is a cutscene, I believe. Um, is they knew about this rusting out, uh, lifter two months ago. And they hadn't fixed it. So yeah, that was my little tragedy. Alright. You made it this far. Maybe I underestimated you. But this is the end. They will take care of you. Come, Golem Twins! Alright, time to fight the Golem Twins. Same thing as the first Golem, but just not as hard. Um, since we have Luminaire, this might go pretty quick. Well, except for the casting of it, it's constant over and over. Now, they are in physical attacks, which kind of sucks. Right now, obviously, you can see that. Alright, let's show you Luminaire, my favorite spell. Only five mana. And... Oh, you son of a bitch! How are you killing me this fast? Good thing I saved, huh? Okay, heal everybody. I don't mind when you use the Iron Orb. That doesn't outright kill me. But we definitely need to cast a spell to get him off this damn physical attack. Look at this. We're at 50, 56, 35. Okay. Come on. Stop it. Stop being stupid. I know we're not supposed to lose here. This is so dumb. Ugh. We might die here, folks. I have never had this much trouble with Chrono Trigger, guys. Ever. Ever. I know I keep saying that, but I have never had this much trouble. And we're dead. If they're both going to do that attack, we're dead. Yep, we're dead. First true game over! Because I canceled it out the first time. <sighs> yeah. Wonderful start. I don't know what's with me starting LPs from f fresh and just dying right away. Yes, 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 yes. Go. <sighs> you know what? I'm making a save here so I can just load it if this happens again. I can't believe that they just outright killed me. That's ridiculous. I wasn't even hurt. They killed Chrono. They're so damn fast. Look at this. Wap, wap. Okay. Not a problem. Problem? That. And they hit Chrono again. And they kill him outright. And they kill him. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Before they get a chance again... Let's just change their attack pattern. Hopefully they stop doing this stupid shit. Yeah, they'll start in water. How frustrating. That might kill him. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt anywhere near as bad. I need heal, please. Do we have a lapis? Let's use a lapis. Mmm. See how much damage that did? Over a thousand points. That's why Luminaire is awesome. Okay, we should be good now. They still have that stupid fire attack. That, no, that's just lightning. 
That won't hurt that bad. We don't have Robo in the group. Water being the opposite of lightning, it hurts Frog a little more. But that's okay. We'll survive. They're not going to do that, that stupid Iron Ball half in our life every two seconds and then hitting us with the Fireball attack, which does way too much damage. That's your job. Can we get you both in a Mega Bomb? No. But we can both get you in a Fire too. It's good to change them up. And we're almost back to full heal. Believe me, or believe me when I say this is not the only boss we have to take on, so. Time to do some more Luminaire. This is like the kick-ass spell right here. It's the ultimate spell, basically. I believe there's one just a little more powerful. Let's do one more heal here. Just in case they decide to do that fireball attack. That weird energy fire attack. And the worst part is, this isn't the last golem to fight in the game. It's just basically double the golems that you fought when you got imprisoned. Alright, Chrono. Show us what you got. Lots of electricity. Yes! Okay, this is going infinitely better at this point. Oh my goodness, I'm so disappointed in myself. Wow, Chrono's fast. Well, since we don't need that anymore. As you see, as we got the physical attack off there, makes this so much easier. Never attack these guys physically. Unless you're playing a plus game, then it probably doesn't matter so much because you have so many hit points and mana, it doesn't even matter at that point. Oh, they're both dead. I'm guessing both of them are going to die. And this is bio or poison or something. I do not believe any of our characters get that attack. But 2,000 experience, 70 tech points, 4,000 gold. Yay, cure two. I wonder what Frog's last one is. They beat the Golem Twins. All right, this calls for the Golem Boss. No, it doesn't. Oh, crap, I forgot when I started. Uh, okay, this might be a little longer video. What's this strange force? Could this be Lavos's energy? I've got a bad feeling about this. All my work will be in vain if I expire before I'm immortal. This is your lucky day. Bye-bye. Now, this is your lucky day, because you are a wuss. All right, with that, and failing this freaking once, which really, really disappoints me. To no end, guys. Really does. Healing up. Why the hell not? We'll do another save. I think we have another level that we have to get through before we get to the last area, but I'm not sure. Another cutscene. Oh, no. We're there. This is the Hall of the Mammon machine. Now is the time to turn back, new. And he somehow jumps to his death. Yeah, he can't talk to those guys. We shan't allow thee to meddle with the Lavos, Queen. We just made it in time. It's a pity, but I'll have to turn this machine off. And they're all like, Sure. You're... Help! Shala! What are you doing, Shala? I need your help here. Uh, she's getting electrocuted? Maybe that might be a reason. Chrono, use the old man's knife to stomp the machine. Quickly, Chrono, there's no time. All right, go, Chrono, go. Go. Here we go, Moon. Ready, big brother. Oh, yeah. T Tis the Massa Moon, eh? So basically, the Mammon Machine is what made the Massa Moon. The, the Mammon Machine! It's coming. No, no, stop! That sword alone can't stop it! Gee, I wonder who the Prophet is, if you guys haven't figured out. Oh no, it's Lavos. I wonder what that meant by Lavos beckons in the save file. Oh my god, it's a big bug! And there's swirling whirlpools of vortex. Okay, there's just no way you're supposed to beat this. Absolutely none. You're gonna die. Yeah, boom! Gone. 
Rain from the heavens destroys us. Absolutely up and right. Yep. Ugh. I've waited for this. Oh, look, it's Magus! Weird. I've been waiting for you, Lavos. I swore long ago that I'd destroy you, no matter what the price. And it's time to fulfill that vow. Feel my wrath, Lavos. What do you think you can do? Hey, look, it's the queen. Inshallah. <laughs> a false prophet. You'll be a snack for the great Lavos. Not quite a false prophet. He just... Mother, please stop. This power can only end in ruin. Get away from here, Shala. The almighty live force of Lavos lives in all of us. You are a part of it. You cannot change fate now. Oppose me and I will destroy you also. Ow. Help! And she jumps up on Lavos. And apparently Lavos is cool with that. He's like, eh, whatever. Come, prophet. Feel the power of Lavos. I don't understand why it makes that noise. Ugh. Ah, my powers are being drained. Ugh, I won't be beaten. I survived the darkness to defeat you, Lavos. Take this, Lavos. Ah. And it does. What? It doesn't work. Ah, my face. Foolish one. Your measly powers can't touch Lavos. This is from me to you. You shall enjoy the eternal life as part of Lavos. Wah ha 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 ha. That's not the right noise. And he's sucking this all in. Uh, are you alright at this rate? Whoa, whoa. Magus, thou art mine to defeat. Sh Shala, are you alright? Please escape, Chrono. Humans can't help to defeat it. So you are Chrono. Why don't you do as Shala says and run away yelping in terror? Isn't your life precious to you? Mwahaha! Ack, halt, Margus! Science has finally failed me! <laughs> Haven't you given up yet? What do you hope to do? You challenge Lavos with that battered body of yours? I do! I am going to kill you! Mwahaha! See the power of Lavos and feel its wrath! How do we know it's a he? It's like... I don't know if that's supposed to be an eye or a mouth. I, th I don't know. Desist, Chrono! Stop, Chrono! Bye-bye, um, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. I've got to go. Gotta leave you all behind and face the truth. Chrono? Chrono! I don't know who's saying that, so I'm just using my voice. And we disappear. We disappear. Chrono sacrifices himself for the greater good. And we all appear in front of the Mammon machine. I think that's the pendant on the ground there. I, I can't beat him, Lavos. Chrono, there was nothing I could do. Hog. <laughs> We must plan our escape. The palace crumbles. The last of my penance power will send you to safety. I know you can't forgive her, but please don't hate Mother or our kingdom. I'm so sorry. Now off you go. Magus dot 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 dot. So that's how the pendant loses its power. She uses it to teleport these people out. Dot, 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 dot. Chrono. Chrono. Ah, uh, well, the main protagonist is dead. Game over, right? We can all stop, go home. Be kind of cool. Be fine. Oh, oh. Oh, Lavos is not nice. Oh, he not happy. Very end game here. Holy crap, folks. And you ever wondered why we didn't have a floating island in our time? This is kind of the reason why it kind of gets kind of gets beat up a little bit by Lavos. Lavos gets kind of cranky pants when you wake him up early. You just like I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with my needles. He's like a big hedgehog of doom or porcupine of doom. Oh no! Oh no! What do we do? Oh no! Uh oh! Oh 
Well, here comes another huge chunk of land. You know, my question is, did they lift a continent up? Or did they create the continent out of pure magic? Who knows? And this is and this is why the blue triangle thing is on the planet surface in our time, because they all fell from the sky. A tidal wave! So what do they do? They go outside to see it instead of hiding in their homes. That makes no sense to me. Why would you go out and watch it? Oops. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I would have, like, barricaded the door with some leaves or something, because they really don't have a door. Hold it, Chrono. Chrono! No! Chrono! Chrono! Chrono? Um, you're awake. Hey, look, it's ill, dude. You were delirious. Chrono, what hast thou done with Chrono? We found no one else. First Cyrus, and now Chrono. Where are we? Is this the Earthbound Village? This is this island was the only refuge left after the Ocean Palace disaster. Tis a pity. Melkor, where's Melkor? When the disaster struck, an eerie black portal materialized. Melkor tried to save Janus, but he was also dragged in. A black portal? A gate! That maiden Shala, whither hath she gone? I don't know. No one has seen her since. Epoch, what happened to it? Your ship is quite sturdy and safe. It's almost as if it followed you here. Oh, this must be yours. You know... "'Tis the pendant Chrono kept. "'It was at your side, like a guardian. "'Chrono. "'Take all the time you need to rest. "'I will be in the commons.' "'Wait, what's the commons? "'Where is that? "'How do we get there?' "'So, at this point of the game, "'we get to choose who you want in the party! "'It's kinda cool. "'Okay, so... "'Since we, um... Kind of lost one of our big hitters. I'm going to put Ayla in for now. And... Yeah. I think that's everything. Do we... Does Chrono still have his equipment on him? Yeah, he does. But as you can see, he's not in the list. Boo, Chrono's dead. Oh, it's still on Lavos Beckons. Alright, Frog, let's, let's... Since you're the next capable swordsman, you'll take his spot. A few enlightened ones did survive, but no distinction remains between the enlightened and the earthbound anymore. A moonstone left in sunlight, sp a sunlit spot for millennia becomes a sunstone. Sun keep of zeal had such a stone. Very old stones are required to harvest useful amounts of power. Good to know. It's like the game is shoving it in my face. Well, check back with him. Sometimes his wares vary from time to time. Bye. He does eventually offer the load shields. Come again. You want to get him to move. And I forget how to get his butt to move. You know what, folks? One second. I'm going to check that out. I know there's a way. So I'm just going to pause it here. Alright, folks. I'm back. It's just as I thought. You had to wait for him to leave, and then took a little while. We found a magic tab. Unfortunately, Chrono is not with us to actually accept it. Uh, do you have something new yet? Nah. I think we have to leave this time period before we do. Hey, there's our ship. So this is what the world looks like right now. I guess I should show you that too. There's barely any land left. Everything's flooded over. Hey, look. The commons. Yay. You know, before we do this, because this triggers the next part, let us come up here. And this is a cliff. There's nothing up here yet. There will eventually be, but as of right now, there is nothing. It's called the North Cape. And if we want to zap around right now, we can't. Because we can't reach the damn thing. It's doing it on purpose. Um, that other island down there is the gate. <laughs> so, it technically survived. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and get this started. 
How can I survive in this land without my magic? You don't need magic to survive. Besides, you're not alone. You're absolutely right. We're alive, and there's always hope. Gotta seize the day! We grew too dependent on a dangerous force. I think they were able to cast magic due to Lavos, but who knows. Everything and everyone sank to the bottom. Not everything. The sea of clouds have parted and the blizzard has finally abated. Could the long winter finally be over? I hope so. Must have cried himself to sleep. Let him be. Zzz. All rested up. Bow and pay homage to our new liege, King Dalton. Eh, uh, yeah. We're not done with him. Hey, it's that dude. It's that poor woman. It's the old dude. Now, we could easily kill all these guys. Ow, my butt. <laughs> hey, look, it's Dalton. You there, what's wrong? You're lucky to be alive. The old crone and the pesky gurus are gone. I now rename Zeal the Kingdom of Dalton. <laughs> you, you're alive? Ah, that vehicle outside must be yours. Just like the one belt the Tsar was building. I've decided you don't deserve such a splendid toy. Henceforth, it shall be my personal chariot. Come again, sir? You'll have to come with me. You might start a rebellion or something. And now is a token of my esteem for you. Take this! Fireballs in the face! What? Grrr. Ha! How's this? The same attack, but three times! <laughs> Mwahaha! Enjoy a ta little taste of my true power. Something tells me it's not your true power if you had to use that right away, but who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Huh? Hey, look, it's Frog and Luca. Where's this? Weapons, all gone. Our items, too. Confound. Confounded. The money, too! <laughs> like making Frog sound like he's just the big badass. This is depressing. Ayla, fight. Get all weapons back. Destroy bad man. Now, there's a reason why I took Ayla. Because she doesn't need weapons to fight. Or any equipment. Now, as you see, we have no equipment, so we gotta get it back. So, let's go ahead and save here on the new king. And we will see you in the next one, because I don't remember when I start this video. And I do apologize. But we will see you in the next one. In, and uh, if this one's short, sorry. I'll figure it out. Whatever. I'll see you guys later. Bye.